What's up, comic book community? It's Hero Hunter 81. I'm back with another video to show you guys. Um, I just had to make another video, so I decided to go through and um, show you guys my favorite comic books that I own from the Copper Age, which is right after Bronze, all the way up until maybe the 90s, sort of modern. Um, but first, I wanted to show you guys these four Spider Man books right here. Um, Actually, I wanted to show Deadpool rules these. He has one of these, and I just wanted to show him the other three. Um, check him out. Subscribe to him. He's a cool guy. Um, anyway, they had one in each of the series here. Black, blue, red, green. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 365 had one. And you can see it's like a homage to Amazing Fantasy 15. Um, Spectacular Spider-Man number 189 had one. The Web of Spider-Man number 90 had one. He's stuck to a building right there. And Spider-Man 26 had one. But, just wanted to show him them. But, speaking of Deadpool rules, I was going through my stuff and some of the ones I wanted to show are ones that I just, I know he likes from watching his videos, so... Amazing Spider-Man number 361. First appearance of Carnage. Now, if you're the get pick up the Amazing Spider-Man number 344 and 345. Those are the first appearance of the guy who becomes Carnage, Cletus Cassidy. But um of course, we got the New Mutants 98, first appearance of Deadpool. And a couple others, Gideon, another person, Domino, but let's look at the back of this. The Punisher on there. I love this comic. I'm glad I picked it up. I mean, I got the, these things are just outrageously expensive right now on eBay, and I got this one for pretty much the price of what they're going for raw right now <laughs> which is a lot but I don't know let me show you guys my this isn't the one I want of course but I just love this cover I mean Todd McFarlane is probably did it best with spider-man I mean I just like the way he drew the webs you know it he had the web and then he had the the web going around the web and he was just cool like his Spider-Man's like body, uh, just the way he drew his muscles, it was really cool. Um, we've got Spectacular Spider-Man number 64, this is the first appearance of Cloak and Dagger. I just got this recently, I think this is some overspray from the printer, but, um, I would show my Spectacular Spider-Man number one, but that's Bronze Age, so... Um, of course, this one right here is Secret Wars number eight. This is the first appearance of the black costume. This thing is a high grade copy. I, I honestly think this is the best looking comic that I own. I think so. I mean, I just took it out yesterday and very, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to call that. I'd give it a 9.6, 9.6, but I'm not a professional grader, but this is, um, Amazing Spider-Man number 252 has the first appearance of the black costume in that series, I, I'm looking to get a hold of that, this is the Amazing Spider-Man number 238, first appearance of the Hobgoblin, very cool character, um, the Green Goblin who? This guy was terrifying. And there was another guy, I think he was a demon goblin. But this has the tattoos in it. And of course, one of the greatest books that came out of the Copper Age area. The Amazing Spider-Man number 300. 1988 this came out. But, moving on. I got Marvel Secret Wars number one. I 
just look at the colors and all the characters on this book. I love that. Gen 13, number one. Does anybody uh, know this one? I bought this thing like 10, 15 years ago, and it was like 30 bucks then. Um, I got it at my comic book store. It's worth about that now. But, you know, I'm just going to hold on to it. See, comic books can go down in price too, guys. But, I don't care. The artwork's amazing. I mean, look at it. This one, uh, I think it's the first appearance of the X-Babies. See him up there? It's not a, I thought it was the first appearance of Longshot, but I don't think so. This is Wolverine number one. He got his own series. And this is his limited series from the 1982. Uh, number four. Number three. I love this cover right here. Number two. And of course I have number one and lucky me it's the best one. Uh, it's in better condition than the other three. So there are also 75 cent variants on these which I'd like to pick up one day. Um, these are all 60 centers. And of course we have Daredevil 168, first appearance of Elektra. Very cool book to have. Um, what else do I got? I only got like a couple more to show. I just got this one recently. This is the last issue of Conan. It had a very low print run. And all these comics aren't in any order from my favorite or whatever, but I'm really excited to have this one. I mean, definitely cool. And also, if you guys can, pick this book up right here. This is an independent company, uh, Olympian Publishing. This is a book called Cursed Pirate Girl, number one. This is the first printing. Um, I'm looking to get it. There's a three-part thing to this. Um, actually, number two had a smaller print run than, than number one. They're about the same amount. They're, they're pretty rare. But um, if you look closely, Cursed Pirate Girl right there and the stamp are all hand-stamped on there on a production line. And this book is made out of, like, it. the paper feels so thick. It's not funny, but <clears throat> the real cool thing about this book is the artwork. I mean, if you guys can, th there's a video on YouTube that shows the creation of, the, of this comic book. Um, look it up. Cursed Pirate Girl. Jeremy Bastian is the artist. Um, the artwork is amazing. Um, if you guys check, can, check it out. Um, but that's pretty much it for my newer comic books. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, can't wait to see everybody's videos. Uh, Hero Hunter 81 out.